my name is Jenny Harbin. I'm the RTI coach at Riverdale. And anybody who knows me knows that I like to make a math game out of anything I can find. So I thought I would show you how to turn family game night into a learning opportunity. And today I have my assistant with me who's also working from home, my daughter, Kayla. <laughs> and we're gonna show you how to make some math games um, using playing cards. Welcome to Jenny's Math Corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with activities for the little kids. Just start easy, letting them um, read and recognize numbers and even count the pictures on each of your playing cards. You can also take it a step farther and have them take the number on the card and turn it into what we call a number bond, which is where they take the number and then they break it up into parts. And there's two ways that um, I'm going to show you that you can do this. You can take a piece of paper or a piece of cardstock and draw a number bond on there. And if you have something like a sheet protector, or I even found a binder that has the plastic coating over the top, and you can just slide it in there and it works with the dry erase marker. And you can just erase it with either a napkin, a dry cloth, or even an old sock. So I'm going to show Kayla my number and she's gonna write it in the top circle of the number bond. And then she's gonna decide how she wants to break it apart into the two smaller circles. So we can do any combination of numbers that makes five. And when you do this, it's important to make the top circle bigger because that represents the total. And then you make the two smaller, the two circles underneath smaller because those represent the parts. So Kayla made her number bond because two and three equal five. Good job, Kayla. All right, if you don't have a binder, you can also use just a straight dry erase board and we can do something that we call a quick number bond. So Kayla's gonna demonstrate with this dry erase board with a different number. Let's do a nine and she's gonna, she, we don't need to use the circles with this. She can just write the total at the top and then draw her two lines and she can break it up into parts however she likes. And there we go. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to show her a card and she's gonna tell me how many she would need to make 10. And you can either do this in a number bond or you can just practice by counting. You can use um, objects to count with if you need to. You can also use what we call a 10 frame that I drew one is just a grid with two rows and there's five on the top, five on the bottom and it makes 10 all together. And you can use this on the back side of your binder and you can use a dry erase marker to fill in the number that you um, draw with your card and you can just put a little dot or a tally mark or an X in each box. So if I have a seven, then she would make a mark in the first seven boxes. And then she needs to tell me how many more she would need to make 10. One, two, three. So we need three more to make 10. And if they need this for support, they can use it. Otherwise, once they get better or if they're a little bit older, then I can just show the number and I could ask her, how many more do you need to make 10? And she would tell me seven. Okay. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you that we can do with just number sense is to choose a number from your deck of cards and then have your child write a story with it. And then they can either tell you the story or they can write the story. And then they can also write what we call a number sentence to show the story. So Kayla's gonna get her dry erase board and she wrote a story about the number five. Kayla, do you wanna read us your story? Sure. I saw four birds and one dog on my walk today. How many animals did I see? So there's the story. Like I said, they can either write it or if they're not quite at that phase yet, they can just tell it to you orally. And then on the back of our dry erase board, if we have one, we're gonna write the number sentence, which shows that four dogs plus one bird equals five animals, or four birds and one dog equals five animals. <laughs> the next game we're gonna show you is how to play memory and then matching. In memory, you wanna take um, two different colored cards and you wanna use your numbers from one to 10. 
And so you wanna include the ace in there and just tell your child that that counts for the number one. So we're gonna mix them up and we're gonna lay them down just like we play memory. And um, Kayla's gonna choose one of the soccer ball cards and flip it over. Four. And one of the regular playing cards and flip it over. Eight. And they don't match, so we're gonna flip them back over. All right, and then I can take a turn. Um, I'm gonna choose One, two, and four. They don't match, so I'm going to turn those back over, and then it's Kayla's turn again. Nine. Nine. Right, so she got a match, so she gets to keep both of those cards, and then you continue playing from there. In matching, you want to lay, you can do this with cards and lay your numbers out, or you can do something like write out the words so that they can practice recognizing how the words are spelled and written as well. So in this one, we're gonna lay our number of words down on the table, and we're gonna have your child flip over one card, number four, and then they're gonna just match and find the number of word that matches the number card, and then we're just gonna go from there. The next game we're gonna show you is bingo. So we're gonna take our cards from one to 10 again, using the ace for one, and then you wanna take nine cards, and we also include a joker that we can use as a free space. So we each chose eight number cards and then we put our joker in the middle and you want to you can choose whichever cards you want and let them put them in whatever order you want so that your bingo cards are different then you want to just take a stack of i just use index cards and i wrote numbers on them and that's going to be our draw pile and you can have a third person draw the numbers or call the numbers out or you can you can just take turns drawing the numbers so i'm going to let kayla choose the first number Three. She got three, so if either of us have a three, we can flip it over. I got a three here, and she has a three there. Oh, we also forgot to turn over our free space, so we're gonna turn over our free space. And then you continue drawing cards until somebody has three in a row across, um, vertically or diagonally. And that's how you play bingo. All right, our next game is war. And in war, you're um, basically comparing numbers to see which number is bigger. So you're each gonna get one suit of cards. So Kayla has the diamonds, and then I have the clubs. And with this game, you wanna play with your younger kids, um, kindergartners mostly, and you're just gonna compare single digit numbers. So you wanna use your um, cards from one to 10 again. All right, you're gonna mix up your cards and you're gonna place them in front of you. And then at the same time, you'll each flip over one card and just see who has the bigger number. We both got a two, so we have to draw another card. All right, I got a nine and Kayla got a six and a nine is bigger than a six, so I win that round. And then you're just gonna keep playing until all your cards are done. All right, for older kids, instead of just one suit, you each get a deck of cards. We love to travel, so we have decks of cards representing Denmark and Ireland. We're gonna mix up our cards, and this time we wanna take out the 10 as well. So we're only playing with ace through nine, and ace again stands for one. The reason we wanna only have single digit numbers is that now we're gonna take two cards, and we're gonna make a two digit number. If you have a 10 in there, it'll add an extra digit, and it'll make it confusing. So um, I have an eight and an ace, so I have 81. I have a six and a five, so I have 65. And you can play it this way, where you have to read the number in the order that they're drawn. So I have 81, she has 65, and so I win that round. Or the other way you can play is choose two cards, and then you can take your two cards and make the biggest number that you can. So I can make 86. And I can make 87. So she just barely beat me, so she wins that round. All right, for a little bit older kids, to make it a little bit harder, you can even bump it up to three digits. So you can make a three-digit number straight the way that um, you draw them. So I have 529. I have 912. So Kayla wins that round. You can also draw three cards and then make the biggest number that you can. Mine are gonna stay in the same order. I have 866. I have 843. All right, so I win that round. 
Okay, another version of war is to practice your computation. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, it doesn't really work with division. Um, but in this game, you're gonna each choose a deck of cards again, and then you're gonna mix them up. You have um, the full deck minus the face cards. Um, you can have the 10 in there. Um, if you uh, wanna make the problems easier, you can only do it through five or whatever you feel like your child um, is able to do. So right now we have our cards, aces through tens of all four suits, and we're just gonna mix them up. And then again, we're gonna choose um, one card at a time. And then you're gonna decide ahead of time whether you're gonna add or subtract. And then when you each lay your one card down, you're gonna try to see who can get the answer first. So we're both gonna lay our cards down and we're gonna add for this round. Four. Oh, so Kayla added three plus one is four. She got it before me, so she wins. And you can do a whole round of just adding, or you can do a whole round of just subtracting and just play it like that. Uh, the next way you can play is by each of you choosing two cards, and then you wanna choose your operation before the round. Um, you can choose adding, subtracting, or multiplying. So let's say we're gonna choose adding. We would each pick two cards, and then I add mine together. Five plus nine is 14. Four plus three is seven. And my answer is bigger, so I would win that round. And then we would play a whole round of all just adding. We can also play a round of subtracting. So in subtracting, we wanna take our two cards, and then we wanna make sure that we arrange our cards so that we're subtracting the bigger number minus the smaller number. 10 minus seven is three. Seven minus six is one. And so my answer is bigger, and so I would win that round as well. All right, so you can also do it with multiplication if they're ready for that, maybe second grade, third grade, or above. You, again, want to pick two cards and then multiply them together. Three plus one, or sorry, three times one is three. Two times 10 is 20. All right, so Kayla won that round. All right, so you just want to make sure you choose the operation before the round so that you're doing the full round with just one type of skill. All right, our next game is called What's the Missing Number? And so in this game, we're each gonna pick a card. We're not gonna look at our own card, but we are gonna put it on our head. And then I can only see her number and she can only see my number. For this game, you need a third person. So our camera person is gonna tell us what the total of our two cards are if you add them together. The total is five. The total is five, so I need to try to guess. If she has a two, what is my number have to be in order for the total to be five? And Kayla has to try to guess what her number is in order for the total to be five. Kayla, what do you think your number is? Well, if I see that her number is three and the total is five, I guess that my number is two. <laughs> Kayla's right. So she wins. If we were actually playing this, it would be a race, so if she got the answer first, then she would get both cards. Should we do one more so round? So we'll do one more round and we'll try to do it fast this time. Ready? Set. Go. The total is 18. Eight! <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's too fast for me. So she wins that round too. All right, you can also play this with multiplication to make it a little bit harder. So this time we're gonna draw and our Recorder is going to multiply our numbers. The total is two. One. Two. So I win that round. All right, and that's how you play what's the missing number. This game is called Countdown, and in addition to your cards, from one to ten, you also need a pair of dice. So for this game, you're going to roll your two dice. And you can either add, subtract, multiply, or divide the two numbers on the dice in order to make the numbers between 1 and 10. And then when you're able to do that, you flip over that card. So I rolled two fives, so I can either do 5 plus 5 is 10, and I can flip over my 10, or I could do 5 divided by 5, and that would equal 1, and I could flip over my 1. For this one, I can't really do subtracting because I don't have a 0. So I'm going to choose 10. All right, and then Kayla's going to roll the dice. Eight, if you're adding. I got a five and a three. Okay. 
I have a five and a three. This time I'm gonna subtract and I'm gonna flip over my two. I got a six and a two. So I'm gonna subtract six minus two and flip over my four. And we're gonna keep going from there. Four plus four is eight. And you wanna encourage your child to say the fact that they're using to flip over their card. Six plus four is 10. Okay, two plus one is three. Three minus one is two. Five plus one is six. Six minus five is one. Okay, four and three. Four minus three is one. Six plus five is an 11 and I don't have an 11. Six minus five is one and I already flipped over my one. So that means. And yeah, I'm stuck. Turns over. All right, four and one, four times one is four. Well, six plus six is 12 and I don't have a 12. Six minus six is zero and I don't have a zero. Six times six is too big and six divided by six is also not there. If you want, you can also make a doubles rule that if you roll a double, you can roll again since the 12 and the zero are not there. So I'm gonna let Kayla roll again. Five plus three is eight, which I've already flipped over. Five minus three is two, which I flipped over. And that's that. <laughs> All right, I have a three and a one. Three minus one is two, and three plus one is four. And three times one is three. Three plus two is five. Three plus three is six. Oh, oh wait, three times three is nine. Five plus two is seven. Oh, I got double, so I'm gonna roll again. Double six. Three, no, I can't do three and one. Three and two, three plus two is five. Three minus two is one. Three times two is six though. Four and one, four plus one is five. Oops, I got doubles. Five plus one is six. Five minus one is four. Five times one is five. Two and one. Nope. My only number left is seven. <sighs> nope. I've only got a nine and a three left. <laughs> five minus two is three. Kayla wins. <laughs> Our last game is called Count Up. For this game, you're gonna take a full deck of cards, minus the face cards again, and you're going to see how high you can add before the timer goes off. For younger kids, I would suggest 30 seconds. If you're playing with maybe a second grader, you could probably go up to one minute. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 seconds and then Kayla's gonna draw one card at a time and then start adding. Ready? Ready. All right, go. 10. Plus three. 11. We're at 13. Plus seven. We're at 20. Plus three. We're at 23. Plus five, we're at 28, plus seven. All right. What's the answer, Kayla? 35. <laughs> All right, so Kayla's total is 35. And then if we were playing this as a family, I would take a turn next. I would get 30 seconds on the clock, and then I would add my cards up, and then whoever had the highest score for that round um, would be the winner or you could write a score down for each round and then continue adding for like five rounds or ten rounds um, However, you wanted to do it. All right, and that's how you play count up. Oh.
up. Thanks for tuning in. All right, that's it for this edition of Jenny's Math Corner. Bye. See you next week.